back at it again with another video. Um, as you can see, we are back in my runway. So basically, if you haven't put it together already, today I'm going to be trying on more outfits from our favorite retailer, Fashion Nova, you guessed it. They've been doing a lot of sales lately, and as you know, it's hot girl summer, so we got to get that shit on and popping. So let's get started. Real quick, I wanted to get into this outfit because it's giving like, it's giving spring, summertime, you know, kind of vibes. It's floral, it's bright, it's out there, it's in your face. This is not from Fashion Nova, but it is very springtime, very summery, so it kind of fits the vibe. Plus, I'm going to brunch with my best friend, so I wanted to wear something, you know, that gives me brunch vibes, and this is definitely it. So I paired it with one of my favorite necklaces, you know, a little butterfly-shaped pendant, and then some classic hoop earrings. So yes, I am really loving this outfit. It is very, very cute, very summertime, very brunchy, and I love it. But anyway, let's get into these outfits. So as you can see from this massive bag, I did order quite a bit of things, but I am not going to be going over everything with you guys today. I am just going to pick my favorites, the things that I was most excited about. Man, this thing's heavy. Now I'm out of breath. But anyways, I'm just going to pick the things that I wanted the most, and then I'll probably save the others for another fashion try on haul in the future. So basically, I'm going to open the bag. Wow, this bag is so big me. But yeah, I'm going to open the bag, pour the things out, and then kind of pick and choose. And then we're going to do the same format as my other video, where I say I'll be number one, two, three, etc. And then try them all on for you and explain if I like them or dislike them. And then, of course, they will all be in the description down below. Look, I need some skizzes. Now the bag is open, so I'm going to dump everything on the floor and kind of do a little randomization to decide what I'm going to be trying on today. As you can see, here we are on outfit number one. The top says, thou shall not try me mood 24 7 because, you know, you know the vibes. And here's the shorts. As you can notice, my hair is obviously in a different style. And light is a little different because the sun's not as bright today. Basically, you guys know I said in my intro that I was going out to brunch with my best friend. Brunch equals bottomless mimosas and you know, things got a little crazy. So I did not record the rest of my video last weekend like I was meant to, but regardless of the fact, I am back here today to show off these outfits for you and I'm really excited and I'm just Last weekend was great. I might have missed a week, but that's okay. We all need a little break sometimes, and sometimes we're not always responsible. So shoot me, but but don't don't really. Don't shoot me. But anyway, so we are back into our video. What I've done was I've basically taken the things that I wanted to try on today, kind of separated them. So we're gonna go from like casual to a little bit more dressy, but not like extremely dressy, not like prom dressy but just like nightclub, lounge-esque kind of stuff. So right now we're starting with our first casual outfit. We have a crop top and then we've got some jean shorts. Um, I was reading the reviews on these and they said that they did not stretch. So I wanted to make sure that they were gonna fit me, but now I feel like I got a size too big. I'm sure that you could tell on your end that these are too big. The main thing that caught my attention was this butterfly detailing on the back. These are actually pockets, but I'm not sure how well they would work because there's not a lot of room to be fair. I really do love these, but I'm worried that if I send them back and they get the smaller size, that they're gonna be too small. But look at all this room. Like, I have way too much room in these shorts. So I really don't know what to do with them. I'm kind of disappointed because this is one of the things that I was really excited about. And they don't stretch at all, but I could have gotten a size down and been good to go. But nonetheless, let's do our little runway walk and get into the next outfit because this one I'm not feeling. This top though, I love. It's breathable, it's black, so it goes with everything. It's got this nice little slogan on the front and it lets people know that you're not with the bullshit. <laughs> but anyways, let's do our little runway walk so I can take this off and hopefully put on something that I feel more comfortable in and more confident in.
here we are with look two. I'm really, really loving this outfit. The purples are slightly different, but I mean, who is watching you that closely to be like, oh my God, girl, your shades don't match. If you are watching someone that closely, then reevaluate yourself. But yeah, I decided to pair these together because one, as you guys can tell, I'm sure, I love purple. Two, I love butterflies. So when I saw this butterfly detailing top, I knew I had to have it. So it's got a little peekaboo in the center, but you still have some coverage overall in the top. Like this is the only opening in the front, but as you can see, the back is normal, like your typical crop top, and then the front is obviously covered. This top is everything. It also comes in yellow, so I think I'm gonna go back and buy the yellow one. This skirt, on the other hand, is actually a skirt. It's got shorts underneath. They're kind of like silky material. Pretty breathable, to be honest, but what I did notice, skirts usually come, or I mean, for me, the ones I bought usually come with like a zipper enclosure, but I'm sure you can see from just my little turnaround there, that there is no zipper enclosure. So you gotta get this past the hips, the butt, you know, like, I should've thought this through. But it actually does fit my waist, it's just getting it to my waist. Obviously I can't throw it over my shoulders because of the shorts. So keep that in mind, if you have a little bit of curve to you, then you should go with a little bit larger size. I was just concerned about like the waist not being secure. But I think I am gonna keep this size. I just cannot put it in the dryer. And I cannot put it on when I'm in a rush because otherwise I'm probably gonna rip the seams. But I really do like it. It's very, very cute. Very sporty almost. Like I feel like I could go play tennis in this. <laughs> probably not suggested, but yeah, I, I really love it. I always worry about my skirts rising up and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool that they're bringing back sports and that they put shorts under here but you can't really tell necessarily. Cause I can always put my own shorts underneath my skirts, but it's just, they rise up and you know, it's not a good look. So the fact that these are connected makes it all the better. So let's do our little runway walk again. Here's outfit number three. I cannot deal with this outfit. <laughs> I really hate this, to be honest. Not even a lie. This material is very, very odd. Um, originally, when I was taking it out of the package, it didn't look stretchy, but it actually kind of is stretchy. I don't know what they were going for with this, though. Like, it's just kind of, mm, I don't know. I don't really like the way that it fits me. It might look good on you. But of course, I'm still gonna leave in the description what this item is called, but I really hate it. I bought it because it's a romper, like it's something that you can throw on real quick, go to the grocery store, run errands, um, work out in, like there's hella uses for it, but it's not giving what I wanted it to give. I don't like the way that it's fitting me. It's not flattering at all in my opinion. I feel like I'm wearing like a body-sized diaper, if that makes any sense. I don't know, but I really hate it. It does have that backless detailing though, while staying connected as one piece. So I really do love that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more from this collection. It's called the Snatch Collection. And mm -mm, girl, this is not it. But as you can see, it is lime green. I've been loving lime green lately, if you couldn't tell. So I do love the color. The color is great. It is beautiful. But I just can't. I wanted to love it, but I just don't. But let's do our runway walk so I can take this shit off. Next outfit. Here we go with outfit number four. As you can see, it is another romper, um, another one piece. I think I do like this one. Um, it's not as like choppy, that green one. Like it's more smooth. The material is stretchier, it's breathable, you know, it just looks better. The straps are obviously self-tied, so if you want to, you can make them tighter, make your lady parts sit up better. I don't have the patience to tie these evenly right now, so I just left them as they were. It's also a little bit longer down to my knees, so that's good because I don't have to worry about it riding up or anything like that. 
I can wear this by writing, working out, like I said before on the other one. I can wear this to the grocery store, you know, I can wear this everywhere. I could probably wear it out as well, but I don't know if I would wear this out, like to a club or to a lounge. Because it doesn't really give me that vibe. It gives me like a daytime kind of running errands vibe. Something that you draw on real quick. Go in and out of the house real quick and you know, stuff like that. I wanna say it's like a dragon pattern. I can't really tell to be honest. But yeah, it's versatile. Very cute, very comfortable, and just overall workable. Like, like I said, I can work out in this and don't gotta worry about it writing up. So I do like this one. It's my favorite item in the whole world. It's absolutely not. But it gets the job done and I can see myself keeping it and I can see myself wearing it. So that's automatically a plus in itself. Here we are with outfit number five. It is a like animal print type dress. Um, I'm really loving this one. I feel a little frisky to be honest. It makes me feel, I don't know, I feel like animal print can look good on pretty much anybody. Like it's really hard to not be able to pull it off. Um, it's just like, it's kind of like when they say like stripes or polka dots or whatever the case may be makes you look slimmer. I feel like animal print does the same thing. I mean, to be fair, it's also stripes, polka dots, whatever. <laughs> Essentially, it's the same thing. But yeah, this is so cute. And it's like a silky material. Um, definitely wouldn't wear this during the day. It's something that I would wear at night, like a lounge, a nightclub. Maybe it's like dinner. No, probably not dinner. This is kind of a little too risque for dinner, but oh my God. This is so, 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 so cute. I really like this. I saw it on the website and I knew I had to have it. I don't believe I have a lot of animal print, but this just really caught my eye and I knew that it was gonna look fire. So we've got a halter top at the top, so kind of like a swimsuit, same thing. This is also adjustable, which I thought was pretty interesting. So you could show like a little bit of side boob or you can straighten it out to make maybe like a more square look and cover the side boob. I mean, it's still kind of obvious, but I don't know. I like mine in the middle. It's very, very cute. I feel like it gives you a lot of options as far as coverage goes, or if you want to be a little more sexy. And then we've also got a little tie here. Again, you can self tie it and it can be as tight or as loose as you want. Me, obviously, I'm going to tie it to where it fits on my body so it's not riding up or things aren't popping out. You know, I don't want the problems. So yeah, I really love this. I'm glad I bought it because I was kind of like sketchy about it. Material is stretchy, it is adjustable, which are my favorite things being a curvy girl. This is a win. So make sure you go buy this dress because I think I'm gonna be fire. Super, super cute. All right, let's go back to the last one. Okay, here we are with the last look, another dress. This one I have like a love-hate relationship with. This was also something that was very, very hard for me to get on. I mean, to be fair, I could throw these things on and possibly rip the seams, but obviously that's not what I'm going for. So I kind of had to be careful putting it on. Plus, due to the detailing of the dress as well, it was kind of hard for me to figure out what goes where and you know, like, how the straps are meant to go. Sometimes when things are too strappy, it's kind of hard figuring it out. But in the end, we got there. This dress is desert vibe all the way. I think it kind of blends into my skin a little bit because, like, it's kind of the same color as me. Maybe a little bit lighter or darker. I can't really tell from this lighting. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. It almost makes me look like I don't have any clothes on. So I don't really know, like, if that's a good or a bad thing. I think it would look great on someone with a darker skin tone, but for me, mm, I don't know. Like I said, love-hate relationship. It kind of looks good or like blend, you know, but maybe it's blending a little bit too good. But yeah, as you can see, we've got like a mountain kind of vibe on the front, and then that translates to the back with some sand and some, well, probably dirt since it's a desert. But yeah, this is another dress that I could like wear out to a lounge, a club, maybe to dinner, maybe. I'm not sure, the back's open. 
I'm not really sure how that would go. But I mean, it does cover you pretty well. I was concerned about it being too short, but honestly, I feel like this is the perfect length for a mini. So we've got it unlocked for that. I do really like it though. I've been eyeing this pattern for a long time. I feel like it fits my overall environment that I live in. Like, obviously, the, it's a desert dress. I live in the desert. You know, they go hand in hand. But yeah, it's cute. It's giving. Um, the straps, like I said, were a little bit difficult to figure out on the back. But in the end, we figured them out. Um, you do have a little bit of side boob here. But it looks good. Like, it's not revealing necessarily you only have the back out and there's nothing wrong with having your back out it's hot you know like it's cool you get a little a little breath of fresh air if the wind hits you at the perfect time so this dress i was thinking i think it's like an eight out of ten um besides those other two outfits i think that this haul was pretty successful i will be returning the romper the light green romper that i didn't like and i will be returning the butterfly short because it's Big. I don't think I can make it work. I might try to get them in a size under, but I don't know. Because what if those are too tight around my waist? And then I'm going to feel real stupid. Because I wasted two shipments on that one item. So I haven't really decided yet. But either way, they will be going back because I cannot see myself wearing them if they don't make me feel confident in what I'm looking like. So they will be going back. But let's do our last runway walk for this video. Okay, so as I said, that was the last runway walk for the video. I want to say I gave you guys six outfits. Six? But due to two of the outfits having two items each, I think that equals eight. So I will have a listing of all these items in the description down below. Outfits one to six. So you can pick these items up for yourself. And I also, also of course, want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I have reached 2,000 subscribers by this point, which is kind of insane, like 2,000 doesn't really seem like a large number to some people, but for me, I just started my channel, I want to say, I would say like two months ago, it's still pretty new to me and to you guys, I'm sure, so thank you so much, um, it's more than what I was expecting in such a short amount of time. I have almost, very closely almost, well, I'm like halfway there reached the monetization point of YouTube, which again is insane to me. I just cannot believe it. Um, I'm just excited to see what opportunities stem from this, if any. If not, I'm still going to be here with you guys. We're still going to be doing these videos, trying on stuff, talking about stuff, follow me around, doing whatever I do with my daily life, you know, the vibe. We're so, so close. So if there are any videos that you have not watched of mine yet, please go make sure that you watch them. Um, that way I can reach my monetization quicker. Once I am monetized on YouTube, I will be doing a giveaway, but I'm not really sure what to give away and I'm not sure um, the rules and regulations for YouTube giveaways. So I'm going to have to look into that. But in the meantime, you guys can definitely let me know on Instagram or in my comments down below what you would want to see in a giveaway. Like what would you want to possibly have the chance of winning? But don't make it anything too crazy because, you know, I'm still working my little job and this YouTube thing is brand new. So it's not like I'm out here making a big dollar yet. But it's coming really quickly and I just want to find a way to say thank you. So let me know what will work in a giveaway for you guys. You know, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for clicking on my videos. Thank you for subscribing. It's very insane that we've reached this point so short in the game. I feel like I'm still so, so new to YouTube. Still learning the ins and outs. I'm still learning how to edit. I'm still getting comfortable recording in front of people. So I just, I can't believe it. I almost want to cry, but I won't. I will not. So anyways, as always, guys, like this video. Comment down below what you want to see next week and what your favorite outfit was in this haul in particular. And um, if there's any other retailers that you want me to try, then please do let me know. I will need some time in advance because California, which is where Fashion Nova is based, is obviously one state over. So I get their shipments within like a day. Sometimes two days, but majority of the time it's like a day and a half. 
I've been ordering from them for so long, so I know that they're reliable. But if there are any other brands that you want to see that you know are legit, then let me know way ahead of time so I can make sure that they ship on time and that I have them in my possession for me to do a video on. Or if you've got your own clothing line that you want me to try on, then of course you can DM me on Instagram or email me at awarkwithtata at gmail.com. Nice little plug there. I noticed that a lot of you do not realize that my Instagram is in my description, which I kind of understand because I don't read people's descriptions anyways. So I will start plugging my Instagram in my videos as well. If you do want to follow my Instagram, my handle is at Tata Buddha. I will place it probably right here so you can see. So you make sure that you spell it right and type it right. And see more of my content, see more of my pictures, see me wear these outfits like out in real life and give you ideas of where to wear them or what kind of venue, etc. So like I said, make sure you like this video, comment down below what you want to see next a week, and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you turn on your post notifications. So every time that I upload, you get a notification. And you can be the first one to see my new video. Have a great weekend, you guys. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> Don't text and drive, etc. 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 Things are getting crazy out here. Traffic is getting worse as far as Vegas goes. I'm not sure how it is in your city, but traffic is just worse. So please pay attention to the roads, be safe, and make sure that you're on alert all the time. Like this week alone, I dodged like 10 accidents. So make sure that you're staying alert, keep your eyes on the road. But of course, have a great weekend. Make sure that you guys stay safe this weekend and every weekend, every day of your life. And I will see you guys next weekend. Love you.